All right, hello and welcome. My name is Matt and I'm from DIY Data and um, I'm going to try a little bit different um, format in a video today. And uh, today I'm going to show off this little mini ratchet that I bought. It's a Smarto brand, um, South, South Korean um, origin ratchet. It is made in Taiwan, designed in Korea, but I don't know how much design took place in Korea because it looks very similar to a the Topeak um, cyclist ratchets um, so this is the ratchet it came with the quarter inch ratchet with a switching lever and a little bit set I'm gonna now bust this open so we can have a look at it just slides out and it came with a set of bits they look like they're built pretty well um, I haven't particularly tried them on too much you've got a T25 Torx a Phillips head number two I guess that's a flat just flathead and then um, what's that five different Allen, Allen keys. So that's a neat little set of tools you get. They look fairly well made. They don't look like they're made cheaply. This wasn't a super cheap ratchet. It wasn't like a two dollar one or a five dollar or a ten dollar one. This actually cost about twenty five dollars. Um, but this is the ratchet. It looks very similar to the Topeaks. However, comparing it, comparing pictures of the Topeak ratchets, I think there's another couple of these little grooves here, and it's an extra groove on this part, so this might be a little bit longer on the Topeak one. Um, the ratcheting mechanism feels really strong. Um, feels quite nice. Um, it looks like a really well made little ratchet and uh, nice little pocket size um, do I have something I compare it to I should have thought about comparing it to something size of a big fat sharpie um, what else can I compare it to I should have thought about this on my desk here in from Australia here's an Eclipse Mints I don't know if Eclipse Mints are sold elsewhere or not but uh, nice size comparison I guess um, so a little little ratchet so the end you've got a you've got a quarter inch magnetic bit in the end I think I think it's magnetic yeah Ma magnetic retention in the in the end in the ratchet mechanism it's actually you can see the little spring bits it's actually a spring it's not a magnet and it can protrude all the way so if you potentially if you have a double-ended ratchet bit like a sorry a double-ended quarter inch bit you can potentially still get it in there obviously that's not going to work for you actually functioning but if you had one on this end you could go on that and if I push it out the right way So it's a neat little EDC ratchet for your pocket. I got got this because I was kind of intrigued. I saw it as more of a spontaneous purchase. I've got another little ratchet. This is a Trojan one from Bunnings. It came with a whole selection of tools for like ten dollars. So it came with this, a bunch of bits. In a little plastic case and I think it even came with a bunch of sockets that might be one of the sockets out of it actually I'm not sure but um, neat little thing it looks like it's fairly well made but not a huge fan of the me ratcheting mechanism on that one but anyway that's not about this similar size this is more about the smart hoe um, 
so I bought this because I'm trying to work out a good EDC toolkit for my work. I don't need a lot of tools and quite often I am carrying one of my Leathermans, so that's my wingman, which I find is actually a good little tool to carry in your pocket. I do have, I do have a Surge, which is huge. It's not the, oh, I mean, it's still pocket carryable, but um, it takes up a lot of space in your pocket. So I have been favoring the wingman. But what I'm trying to do at the moment is try to work out a toolkit that either allows me to completely remove a multi-tool from my kit or to relegate it to a different part to less important things. I don't know if I can fit this in my camera setup here, but this is a little, so this is the, um, Surge, Surge, I don't know, yeah, the Surge. So that's the Surge um, sheath with a six inch or 150 mil shifting spanner. On the side and over this side, I have a little Kramer tweaker. It's getting a bit scratchy. Do have other tweakers. This is my other tweak, my Extron tweaker. Got a couple of Allen keys because that work there kind of helpful. But um, yeah, so just trying things, some things out. I do like this um, cream one because it actually has a magnet on the end, which is pretty cool because this is the same size similar size, but having that extra feature on the end of that always makes it handy. So anyway, I digress. I will hopefully soon be having a Nipex, um, what are they, I don't know what it's called, the plier wrench, I think it might be called, which might be a replacement for this coming but anyway again I digress so my initial thoughts on this Taiwanese made bit ratchet I'm pretty happy with it I haven't really used it a lot I've used it a couple of times with a little Phillips head number one bit Um still trying to work out the best method for carrying this if it's useful I think I think I've worked out the Phillips head number one is going to suit my needs quite well so number two is probably a bit big so when it comes to setup for this little ratchet in my carry I was thinking of carrying it basically one one bit in the end one one bit in the ratchet. So that gives me two bits with me at all times. Um, a lot of times I don't really want to be carrying all this, particularly if it's, I got this, because I find I can have a multi-tool in my pocket all the time. This by itself can just sit in your pocket. You don't even notice it really. But when you start adding all of that, it gets a bit bulky which is the issue I'm having with my kind of toolkit. So this kind of setup would be more of a going to do a particular job. All right, and then if I add the screwdriver as well, that gets pretty bulky. Um, so if I get rid of that, it's a little bit less. I mean, this has a Phillips head on it, which does all right, but it's nice to have something a bit sturdier to grab onto. And maybe the ratcheting head comes in handy. The ratcheting head with 
have to work out which one it is. It's probably one of these smaller ones. Might come in handy for my work because we have Allen keys on some projectors. Which is pretty, so that might be useful. Having that and um, on some of the projector mounting brackets we need like an Allen key or a right angle to get in there. It's a bit difficult to get in there with the screwdriver. So this might have a use in my toolkit, be it every day or more of a um, task oriented toolkit. So anyway, that is a rambling description. I wouldn't call it a review because I haven't actually tested things, but a rambling demonstration of this little Smarto ratchet. I bought it from eBay in South Korea, so pretty happy with it, pretty well built. As I said, it's uh, made in Taiwan. Taiwan seems to have a pretty good reputation for man manufacturing tools these days. Um, but I suspect it's a similar build quality to the Topeaks. And this was like $25 versus like $40 or so for a um, Topeak. So if you can find them, I only found it on one place on eBay. So it's not like it's something you can easily locate, I suspect, but things like this are out there if you're keen on finding them. Uh, all right, that's, that's me done today. I'm Matt from DIY Data. I hope you enjoy this video and um, I'll see you next time.